Today, we need to find the unit's digit of 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial all the way to plus 2020 factorial plus 2021 factorial plus 2022 factorial. Now in case you forgot what a factorial was, you can check out the video right over there. So this problem seems pretty hard because this sum is obviously going to get very, very big. But we don't need to find out what this whole thing equals to because we're only asked to find the units digit. Now the units digit of a number is just the last digit. So all we have to do is focus on the last digit. So maybe this problem isn't as hard as it seems. Now before working with factorials, let's just work with integers because those are easier to work with. Let's say that we have to sum two numbers, let's say 49 and 167. The units digit of this sum is just going to be 9 plus 7, which is 16. That ends in a 6. The 1 is going to carry over, but we don't care about the 1 because we only care about the units digit. So the units digit of 49 plus 167 is 6. Let's try another example. Let's say we have 70 and 132. From here, the units digit is just going to be 0 plus 2, which ends up being 2. So all we have to do in our sum right over here is focus on the last digit. Let's start with 1 factorial. 1 factorial is just 1. Two factorial is two times one, which is two. Three factorial is six. Four factorial is 24. Five factorial is 120. 6 factorial is 720. And let's stop here, because from here, we have something very interesting that we should take note of. Starting from 5 factorial, 120, the units digit appears to be 0. It's 0 here. It's also 0 here. 7 factorial is 5040. That also ends in a 0. So we see that after 5 factorial, the units digit is just going to be 0 all the way up to 2022 factorial. Now this makes sense, because once we get our first zero, the units digit for the numbers after will always be zero. Because zero multiplied by anything also gives zero. For example, the units digit of 140 multiplied by 7 is just zero times 7, which is the same as zero. So from 5 factorial, all the units digits will be 0.
This means that the units digit of all of this right over here is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 6 plus 4. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 6, that's 9. 9 plus 4, that is 13. So 3 goes there. The 1 is going to carry, but we don't care about the 1 because all we care about is the unit's digit. So the unit's digit of this entire sum is going to be 3.